Hey, Brett, um, have you talked to Mom or Dad today? I, uh, maybe have. Oh, okay, so you've heard. Yeah, and I guess that means you've heard too. Can you freaking believe this? Our 60-year-old parents are getting divorced. Well, I mean, it's not a shock that they hate each other, but I thought that at this point they'd just hang on till the bitter end. Well, I guess it was either get divorced or kill each other. Yeah, but still, after 35 years? I know. Dad, tell you or mom? Mom. Really? I got dad. Mm, that makes sense, knowing them, but why wouldn't they just tell us together? Because they're our parents, that's why. They're off the rockers. Well, I guess in a sense we could be happy for them. I mean, after all this time, it's kind of inspiring that they'd try to make themselves happy, you know? No, I don't know. What about making us happy? Because there's no way I'm going to two Christmases, do you hear me? There's no way in hell. Yeah, yeah, fine. I, I get it. You think I want to? So, who do you think will get the house? Oh, well, Dad, I'm sure. He'd never let Mom have the house after all the work he's put into it. Yeah, and it's not like she's ever appreciated it. Really? Do you think so? Yeah, I mean, she never offered to help him with any of that remodeling. Well, what was she going to do with her back problems? I don't know. At least not. Well, anyway, I think Mom would be much happier with her own space anyway. A little house or condo or something. In this market, she'd be better off in an apartment. Well, I don't know. She can figure it out. What about us? What about us? I mean, you think they'll get joint custody or... Very funny. You have to have a sense of humor, right? If you don't laugh, you'll cry. Or slowly lose your mind. Well, Mom said she wants to talk more about it later. She needs to tell me something... great. Oh, sounds like fun. I'm going to the movies. Well, enjoy. I hope you choke on a juicy fruit. Hello, dear. Is now a good time to talk? Uh, hey, Mom. I'm actually at the gym, about to take a shower. Oh, good. Well, I just have to talk to someone, and you're the only one answering. Uh, okay. I know you needed to talk. Well, I hope you understand why your father and I need to finally do this, even after all these years. Yeah, Mom, I get it. You guys have been stuck in a loveless marriage for decades now. Yes, well... I mean, in all honesty, you probably should have just split up when we were kids. Well, uh, we almost did. What? You did? Yes, well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. I didn't know that. Why didn't you ever tell me? Well, because it involves what I'm about to tell you, if you'd let me. Okay, okay, sorry. I see you're still interrupting me. I guess some things never change. Okay, I said I was sorry. Yeah, I see you're still vindictive. Anyway, the reason we almost broke up was, well, a secret your father told me one Christmas Eve of all times. Um, that Santa wasn't real? Okay, if you're going to just make jokes, I'll call your brother and talk to him about this. Oh, please, he doesn't want to talk about any of this with you. Really? Is he upset with me? I'm not sure he knows how he feels about any of this yet. Well, anyway, um, what he had to tell me was uh, shocking then. I can't imagine how it's going to hit you. Okay, go ahead, Mom. Enough of the buildup. Well, right before your father and I were married, he had an affair. He had an affair? With who? It was short-lived, a neighbor of his mother's. Grandma? Yes, yes. We were only in our early 20s, Carrie. You have to understand. So you forgive him for this? Well, of course I do. It was a million years ago. Well, I, I don't know if forgive is the right word, then accept, and then finally just not care about anymore. However, the thing is... Yeah? This affair, um, well, I've recently discovered, resulted in a child. What? Yes, a son. You mean, I have another brother? A, a half-brother, technically. And he's older. Older than Brett. Yes, obviously. It wasn't a question, Mom. Did you see a freaking question mark at the end of that sentence? All right, no, I didn't. Thank you. So when did you find this out? Did he tell you back then? Did he even know? Well, of course he knew. His mother was the family's neighbor for crying out loud, but neither of them ever told me. 
Yeah, well, how did you find out now? Dad finally told you? No, Arnold Mahoney told me. Arnold Mahoney, who is that? He's your brother. Hey, honey, how are you doing? Oh, uh, hey, Dad, uh, what's up? Well, my life is, um, taking a real turn. I suppose all of ours has, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I'll say. I guess my condolences? Well, mine too, I suppose. So did you hear your mom's already moving out, staying with your Aunt Thelma until she gets her own place? Yeah, she told me. So she's letting you have the house, huh? Letting me have the house? Excuse me, but I've practically rebuilt this damn thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, it was still a tough trade. She got the dogs. Really? Now that I didn't hear. So, uh, have you talked to your brother? No, he's gone dark, basically. Yeah, he's not talked to your mother, either. What about you? Has he talked to you? Oh, yeah, he sure has. And he ain't too happy about all of this. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. And he's not blaming me, either. So, he's on your side, then? And I don't want either of you kids to take sides in this. Either? Don't you mean any? Oh, so your mother told you, huh? Yeah, she told me. And uh, have you told your brother yet? Nope, I told you. He's gone dark. He must be in his fortress of solitude or something. Well, um, I suppose he may feel a little bit differently about all this once he hears about Arnold. Dad, why didn't you tell any of us about him? I mean, we could have had a relationship with him. I didn't want anything to do with his mother, Carrie. Believe me, she was out of her mind. Oh, really? Then why did you sleep with her? It was a one-time thing, a moment of weakness on my part. I'll say. Look, things weren't good in your mother and I's relationship at the time. When has it ever been? Yeah, but it, it was really bad back then. And wasn't this right before you two got married, though? Well, uh, yeah. And yet, you still went through with it? Yeah, and aren't you glad we did? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, young lady. So how old is Arnold now? Whatever happened to him? He's about 35 or 36, I imagine. I checked in on him from time to time. His mother ended up doing okay, marrying some accountant. I guess he's an entrepreneur just about 45 minutes south of here. Has a couple businesses going. So he just contacted you out of the blue? Yeah, he wanted to reconnect. He said he made a promise to himself that he'd do it by the time he was 35. You mean, connect? Yeah, yeah. Dad, I can't believe you've kept a child hidden all these years. It just, it doesn't even sound like you. It doesn't even feel like it's happened to me. So Mom had just had it after she heard? Well, yeah, she was the one who answered the phone. You mean, Arnold told her before he told you? I guess she kind of talked it out of the poor boy. Poor boy, huh? Um, how do you think Brett is going to react to all of this? React to him having an older brother after only having a younger sister for all these years? Oh, just great, Dad. I'm sure it won't psychologically damage him at all. Ugh, thanks for the comfort. Hey, you've made your bed. And 35 years later, I'm sleeping in it. Hello, honey. How are you today? I'm great. Uh, thanks for letting me answer. I'm... Whatever. And why are you so great? Well, I've been talking to your brother. Which brother? Um, Arnold. Oh, really? So you've been talking to Arnold now? Well, he's such an interesting man, you know? I mean, his businesses and all that. Did you know that he owns a boxing gym and an arcade? Wow, that's so cool. Anyway, um, do you remember your Aunt Sally and I's idea about the coffee shop and bakery? Um... Yeah, please don't tell me. Well, he thinks Sandy Sally's is a great idea. He even likes the name. He even likes the name? Yep, and we've already met to start drawing up a business plan. Can you believe it? Oh, um, really? You and Arnold Mahoney are going into business together? Well, your Aunt Sally, too, of course. So, um, have you told Dad about this yet? Um... Yes, I had to. Since we're still married, he had to sign off on a few things. And he's actually going to do it? Well, uh, not yet. But I'm sure he'll do it, right? 
I am not so sure about that, Mom. Oh, come on, he'll have to come to his senses eventually. And when is anyone planning on telling Brett about all of this? Well, um, this afternoon. I'm going to go over there and talk to him. Great, he'll love you just popping in to tell him that he has a brother. Well, what can I do? Your father is too much of a coward to do it. <sighs> Why can't you two just tell either of us anything together? Do you really think it would be any easier for you to hear it that way? I don't know. Probably not. Well, the three of us are bound and determined to make Sandy Sally's a success. And if we have to wait a few months for the divorce to be finalized, well then, so be it. Ugh. Hey, sis. What's up? Oh, hey, Brett. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, I just wanted to apologize for being so distant this last week. I've just been having a hard time with all of this. Like, a really hard time. Well, it's not every day that your parents get divorced, and even as an adult, it's a shock. Yeah, I guess so. I feel like I'm being a big baby, though. You aren't being a baby. I can't imagine hearing all of that, with all that baggage that comes between brothers. Brothers? Yeah, I mean, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that I have two brothers now. It's totally mind-blowing. Um, what are you talking about, Carrie? Oh, uh, oh crap. Mom didn't talk to you? Talk to me about what? She said she was going to tell you today. Ugh, I can't believe this. Tell me what, Carrie? Okay, fine. I guess that's probably best you hear it from me anyway. <sighs> All right, here it goes. Right before Mom and Dad got married, Dad had an affair with Grandma's neighbor and had a son named Arnold, who's 35 now. He's an entrepreneur, and after he reached out, he and Mom and Aunt Sally decided to finally go into business together. They're finally going to start Sandy Sally's. They've already drawn up a business plan. Um, hello? Brett? Are you there? Excuse me, but I'm going to have to check myself into a mental institute right now. Okay, do you want me to come over? I, I can sit with you for a while if you want. No, I think you need to drive me to the hospital. Seriously, I think I'm having a panic attack. Don't you have your Ativan there? Can't you just take one of those? I don't think that's going to cut it, Carrie. I think I may be having a heart attack. Okay, just breathe, Brett. It's okay. What is happening to our family? I can't have a brother. And an older brother, no less. I'm the oldest sibling. I've always been the oldest sibling. That can't just switch overnight. But, Brett, nobody's saying that you have to have a relationship with Arnold. Arnold? His name is Arnold? Yes, his name is Arnold Mahoney. Well, of course it is. What is that supposed to mean? Are you going to meet him? I don't know yet. I guess if Mom's going into business with him, it'll be kind of unavoidable. Yeah, well, I bet I can avoid it. Oh, come on, Brett. Don't be like that. Be like what, furious at my family for betraying me? No, you have every right to be furious about that, but I don't know. This guy Arnold sounds like a pretty good guy. Maybe it would be a good thing for us to get to know him. Oh, so you're on mom's side then, is that it? Brett, there are no sides in this. Nobody wants sides. Dad doesn't, mom doesn't, dad said as much to me himself. If he doesn't want to take sides, then why won't he talk to this guy? I don't know, because he's ashamed of the whole thing, I guess. Well, he should be. He cheated on Mom and then lied about all of this for freaking decades. And he's now facing the repercussions of that. Yeah, he absolutely is, because guess what? I'm never going to talk to him again. Oh, come on, really? Don't say that. Yeah, that's right. And another thing. I don't want to talk to Mom or Aunt Sally, either. What about me? Are you going to talk to me? That depends. Are you going to have a relationship with this... guy? Our brother? Your half-brother. Are you going to betray me or what? It wouldn't be betraying anyone, Brett. So you are. You are going to have a relationship with him then. I knew it! I don't know! Now I'm the one who's confused. Well, you should be. This is all very confusing. Look, will you just talk to your counselor about all of this before you make any final decisions about anything? Fine, fine. I'm seeing you tomorrow anyway. <sighs> Thank God. Hey, hun. How are you doing? Not good, Dad. I'm worried about Brett. You still haven't talked to him? I mean, we've been talking, but he just doesn't sound good. Is he... is he talking to you about Arnold yet? 
Yeah, a little. And, well, he's just having a really hard time accepting it. I understand, but I don't know. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. I mean, Arnold doesn't seem so bad. So you finally met him? I, uh, I had coffee with him and your mom the other day. It was a little bit tense at first, but things loosened up. We haven't had any big, long, serious talks yet, but I don't know. Maybe things would work out. Well, I think I've decided to meet him. Really? You have? If someone who couldn't acknowledge him for 35 years can meet him, I guess I can too. Yeah, well, better late than never, right? He really is a nice young man. His mother did right by him, if I didn't. Well, what about your other son? I just don't know what to do about him. I guess just give him time and space. But he said he never wants to speak to us again. He told you that too, huh? He texted me last night at about two in the morning. Ugh, he's so dramatic. I tried calling him, but he wouldn't answer. I shouldn't have said he's dramatic. I know he's just having a hard time. I just want to be a family again, whatever kind of family it is. So you're going to sign the papers? Uh, which papers? All of them? Any of them? The, the ones for the shop? The divorce? I've already signed them, hun. This thing is going to be finalized by the end of the month. Wow, so I guess I should finally meet this guy, huh? I think you probably should, dear. Hello, um, Arnold? Yes, is this Carrie? Um, yes it is. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's so nice to finally get to meet you, Carrie. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. So, uh, this is all pretty weird, huh? Yeah, it definitely is. I guess you've heard that we had no idea about you until recently. Yes, well, I didn't know about you until recently either. So your mom never looked my dad up? I mean, our dad. Uh, I guess occasionally she'd update him on me, but he never told her about his own life, really. No. I'm sorry, this just all happened so fast. I don't know what to make of it. I understand. After I finally decided to make the call, one of my main concerns was you and Brett. Yeah, Brett. I mean, I can't imagine it. You're in your early 30s and you find out you have a brother. An older brother, no less. That has to cause some psychological stress. And I feel it myself. I'm sure you do. I mean, I feel it's kind of great gaining a brother. Really? You do? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's so great. I'm so happy to hear you say that. I, uh, I never had any other siblings, you see. Really? Yeah, m my father. I mean, my other dad. He couldn't have kids, so... So, did they tell you who your real dad was? Yeah, I knew. And I also knew that he really didn't want to have anything to do with me growing up. Or even into adulthood. Well, I think our dad is kind of a damaged guy, but I really have some hope for him just yet. You must have gotten your optimism from your mother. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Well, I do think my dad, sorry, yet again, our dad, is getting to be happy with it. You know, I kind of get that feeling too. And I'm looking forward to getting to know you too, Arnold. Well, thanks. I wish that your brother felt the same way, though. Maybe he will soon. I don't know. It's really hard telling with him. I've always wanted a little brother, you know? It's funny. Brett has always talked about having a brother, and now that he has one, he's rejecting you. I really don't understand. Well, I do. I can't even put it into words, but I do. But I'm keeping the faith, Carrie, and I hope that you will too. Um, yeah, you definitely weren't raised by my parents. Believe it, honey! After all of our hard work, we're finally opening Sandy Sally's! And with the help of your long-lost stepson, no less. It's truly unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, if you had told me just a year ago that we'd be having an open house at our cafe, well... I'm really proud of the three of you. You've worked so hard. Well, you've helped so much with the menu. Aw, oh, don't mention it. And even your father, with all that remodeling, now that really surprised me. I'm not so sure that he was helping you as much as he was helping Arnold. I don't know about that, dear. My relationship with your father has really improved quite a bit since the divorce was finalized. You know, I have noticed that both of you are much more cheery than, like, ever. Well, it's been a long road, has it not? So... 
I, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you for being so, um, understanding. It's okay, Mom, seriously. And also, so accepting of Arnold. I know your father is beyond grateful. Stop it already. Well, I guess I'm so grateful because I know that you've been trying to make up for your brother's inactivity. I'm sorry, Mom. I really thought that he would have warmed up to this whole thing by now. Are you two back to speaking? Yeah, but we don't talk about Arnold or Sandy Sally's. It's like religion and politics for us. Which is funny, because you both agree on those, you heathens. It's your fault you sent us to Catholic school. I just, I wish this would all go away. I wish we could all be a family, a big extended family. Did you know that Arnold has a girlfriend now? They're getting pretty serious. Of course I know, and Amy is such a sweetheart too. Well, I hate to say this, but it's his loss. I know, but you don't mean it like that. No, you're right. I don't. It's everyone's loss, isn't it? It would be so nice to see him at that open house. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get my hopes up for that, Mom. Ugh, I swear. If I had any idea that I would lose a son by gaining another... You haven't lost him yet, Mom, I promise. Hey, bro. How are you doing? Well, I'm looking at this big announcement on Facebook about the opening of Mom and Aunt Sally's Cafe. Yeah, can you believe that they got an article written in the paper about them? Yeah, well, Sally probably paid off some guy at the paper or something. Yeah, Brett, maybe. So I looked at the menu. Did you come up with that lavender latte crap? Um, yeah, have you ever tried one? It's delicious, and goes great with our homemade cookies. Sorry, but lavender belongs in the ground, not in my coffee. And our cookies? So you, like, work there now or something? Well, I'm helping out so much that I might as well be. Yeah, well, I bet it pays crap. Brett, why don't you come to the open house and check it out? Try one of them. Please, I wouldn't be caught dead in that place. Plus, it looks totally pretentious. Well, you seem pretty interested in it to profess not to. I was momentarily curious, okay? It was a moment of weakness. <sighs> Just like Dad's all those years ago. It's nothing like Dad's all those years ago. How long are you going to hold on to all of this, Brett? All this bitterness over something that you can't control? As long as I have to. You don't have to at all, you know? Well, maybe I want to. Now that I can believe. But if you want to make yourself miserable, be my guest. But the rest of us will be enjoying ourselves at the open house. Fine, you all go ahead. I don't need it anyway. You don't need a family? Nope, not at all. Brett, I thought you always told me that you wanted a brother. Well, now you have one and you're so angry about it. Yeah, I always wanted a brother, okay? But I didn't want one to be forced on me. A sibling is forced on you regardless, Brett. I was, remember? Yeah, and you still are. It's time to let go, brother. Rejoin the flock. Ugh, whatever. You'll think about it? You'll think about not being alone anymore? I'll think about stuff. I always think about stuff. Okay, Brett. You go think. Uh, hey, Carrie. Brett, hey, what's up? Are you all right? Yeah, um, well, I don't know. Where are you? I'm, uh, outside in the parking lot, sitting in my car. You are? You mean, you decided to come? Oh my gosh, Brett, wait until I tell everyone. No, no, don't tell anyone yet. I, I don't know if I'm going to come inside yet. Brett, you can do it. We're having a great time. It's not too crowded or anything. Everyone would love to see you, and I can even get that lavender latte started right now for you. Ugh, then I won't be coming in. I know you can do this, Brett. There's a lot of love in this cafe. Okay, now I definitely won't be coming in if you're going to talk like a Hallmark card. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just feeling really happy right now. And plus, there's some Kahlua in my coffee. There is? Yeah, Arnold put it in there when I wasn't looking. You want me to bring you one out? You can maybe loosen up first? I don't know. Maybe just a little. Okay, I can do that. Will you, uh, stand next to me in there while I meet him, sis? Brother, I'll stand by you wherever you are.
After a little bit of liquid courage on behalf of Carrie, Brett was able to go inside and meet Arnold. To his surprise, they had quite a bit in common, and even both play musical instruments. They now jam every Saturday, drinking craft ales and getting to know each other. Their parents continued to get along, finding their relationship much more suited to divorce. Everyone now spends the holidays together. Carrie is now working at Sandy Sally's full-time and is fully in charge of the menu. She is even considering starting a coffee truck side hustle with a little startup help from her new brother, Arnold. <laughs>